Hello, my friends, and welcome to this week's episode of the Greenlight Weekend Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Brian Nystrom. This is episode 190. It's special. So it's just me and Jadrian today. But before we get into that, let's talk about our sponsors. We have two sponsors. Our longest standing sponsor is, of course, Dead Room Comedy. Been talking about them for years. Still love them. Check them out. There's a link below the episode. Check them out on all social media. Dead Room Comedy. On all social media. At Dead Room Comedy or DeadRoomComedy.com. Or, of course, uh, their YouTube channel, Dead Room Comedy. They also have a podcast called Dessert with Dead Room Comedy. It is exclusively on Spotify. Check it out. It gets pretty weird. It gets pretty fun. Um, I enjoy it. Um... And as far as our other sponsor, Old Timers Cafe, it is located in the middle of beautiful downtown Durango. We do a show there every Thursday at 9 p.m. hosted by Jadrian Long and a show every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. hosted by Andy motherfucking Matthews. They are both fun. The Sunday one's a little more wholesome because it's earlier. The Thursday one is completely savage. And uh, it's like a concept show. It's changing. It's evolving. For the next, like, seven weeks, we're doing this thing where it's three rounds. Um... You make it through the rounds based on your set, based on the crowd's reaction. So the first round, uh, it's basically a set. The second round, you get teamed up with a heckler, and the audience decide who moves on. And the third round is a one-on-one roast battle, which Andy Matthews beat me at last week because I was tired, and I looked at him, and all I saw was a sweet boy. I didn't have any good roast for him. So he fucking won, all right? He fucking won. It's okay. Go to Old Timers. Support Old Timers. They support us. Uh, let's see. Episode 190, me and Jadrian talking mad shit. I felt like we needed a solo ep. Um, we got a little therapy out. We talked comedy. We talked about the upcoming comedy festival, the Four Corners Comedy Festival, which will be taking place September 29th through October 2nd. We are renting out the, uh, Fort Lewis Concert Hall, which is, I believe, 600 seats. It's gonna be a banger. And they sell booze, so don't you worry. Uh, you need booze for comedy. Um, we're also doing a bunch of other venues during the Four Corners Comedy Festival. We'll definitely be utilizing old timers. Um, and I'm not and the VFW. I'm not sure who else is on board, but we're gonna do as many shows as we can. I think there's like 45 comics coming into Durango. It's gonna be fucking chaos. A town this small with 45 comics plus the locals is. It's a wild proposition. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It's fucking crazy. We might burn the vfw down i really hope not but it's possible that's all i'm saying um just so you know i did cut some shit at the end of the episode i was not supposed to talk about so uh if it just ends and music starts that's why because i said some shit i wasn't supposed to but who gives a shit it's a 45 minute episode quickie but a goodie i think you're gonna enjoy it if you're just looking for a little nice way to start your day um it is July 1st. It is the cutoff for submitting for the Four Corners Comedy Festival. So if you didn't sign up, you fucked up, boy. We're going to have so much fun. Oh, I'm so so excited. Go follow the Four Corners Comedy Festival on all social media, as well as Comic Uprising. Comic Uprising is the company that puts on the Four Corners Comedy Festival. You know, Jill Carlson, Dave Oakley. That's another reason I'm excited for the festival. Dave's going to be here. Kat's going to be here. I'm going to be happy. Kelly's going to be happy. We also got some more surprises coming up, so stick around, ladies and gentlemen. Keep listening. But I'm going to stop babbling. I want to give a big shout-out to Ethan Esparza and the Chava people for the intro-outro music. I love you guys so much for listening. Happy Friday, bitches. And uh, let's do this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 190 with my boy, Jadrian Long. Wake up. Wake up. Sun hit your ass. Green light weekend, <laughs> and we're here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Why did you point at me? That was, made know. me fucking nervous. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> and you're off. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> I got nothing. It's like my roast bandle with Andy. I got nothing. He's a beautiful young oh. man that's making strides in his life. Oh, God. I Dude, I, <laughs> I love, like... You're you're one of the people that like seeing your comedy 
I, I would expect you to be able to roast anybody, which oftentimes you have been. But I've never seen you, <laughs> seen you just be like, I don't want to be mean to him at all. I like him. <laughs> Six months ago, I would have lit him on fire. Yeah, dude. But I don't feel the same way about him now. <laughs> Andy Matthews has got his shit together. He is strong, dude. Oh, dude, he he completely destroyed the room on on Monday night last night for the uh come out for come out for comedy pride show. And I would argue he stumbled. It wasn't a flawless set. Yeah. But the energy in that room he, it it was it was it was really a level of craft that I'm jealous of actually with how with how he kind of bounced around and just followed the energy. That's that comes with being gay though. You get like this well, I mean intuition I mean, it's it's something that you don't get to see all the time. It's true. It was special. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. He. He just seemed like he was in the groove, even though something fell flat. He was just like, boom, on to the next one. Like I've seen you do it. I've seen everybody in the scene do it at least once. And I think that's the last night was the first time that I saw Andy do it. Agreed. Which, which, it's just like a like a huge milestone, you know. No, totally. Yeah. He he had that control the room moment where he almost could do no wrong, mm -hmm. and it was it was beautiful to see. I felt like the whole time I was up there, I was walking a tightrope, and I stayed on the motherfucker, <laughs> but I almost <laughs> fell. You know what I mean? And there's no tether. Yeah. There, there's no That's safety that. line. Once you fall, you die. Yeah. And I felt like I was walking that tightrope, but luckily, I mean, there there are some people who are superheroes that. <laughs> Like and fall off the tightrope and fucking pull themselves back up. Like, Rare. <laughs> I feel like I've got maybe a handful. I, I, of those I was about ever. to say that's another one of those one of those like moments that you don't see very often. And <clears throat> I'm gonna assume at our level. I assume in a couple of years with more of the people that we'll be associating with that we'll see it more often mm -hmm. but our, at our level that's something that is a little bit rare like where, the patrice o'neill yeah like, dig i'm yourself. gonna i'm gonna make them hate me and then i'm gonna Ooh. make them love that they hate me literally yeah. dig your own grave <laughs> yeah and then come out of it in a jet pack no like, i mean that's that's one of the reasons why i have uh why why i haven't gotten rid of jokes that aren't exactly my favorite uh corn uh picasso um i love corn yeah I, I i it's it's a good joke but it's not exactly on the line of where i am usually right. we're like we're like it's it's kind of gratuitous gratuitously like yeah you gotta come straight like from sexual. eating ass yeah and then fucking yeah exactly uh um, you're hungry you know what I'm yeah saying? so that's like, th those are some of the jokes that i've kind of been setting up in like my own set list to use down the road specifically for that like i i use them i use those jokes whenever i've kind of given up on a set like last night i used both of those jokes because uh -huh. i was just like i am unable to keep my thoughts straight at all there's a big green alien bitch running running around you got divi vi like <laughs> <laughs> the bye bye are you petty but like every and the whole gay community is there and i'm just like oh I'm, all of them i want to be good for these people <laughs> that sucks I, I want them to like me so much man that's a bummer <laughs> that's a bummer and, feeling and to not be able to do good like at least not as good as like i want to do because mm. uh, all in all like weird i had a weird set last night but it wasn't at all my worst set for sure um but 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 yeah that's that that's i don't even know where we were going from this i was, I was just excited about last night's show <laughs> last night was really Talking fun sets. i got i got half a lap dance from aria petty one. Oh, oh dude that was hot it, it, that it was hot felt pretty hot yeah. there, there was no like there wasn't much contact. There, there wasn't any touch. Which my girlfriend was but, concerned about. But you could feel the heat. Yeah. <laughs> I got home, told my girlfriend, and she was like, oh, now I got to worry about you fucking drag queens? Was, <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I've seen that bitch without her makeup, all right? Yeah. Still kind of hot, <laughs> but not that hot. You know? Not that hot. Not cheat yeah. on and committed relationship That's funny. hot, you know? <laughs> it's not even, I, he is lad, Puerto Rican. Oh, man. Uh. But yeah, dude, uh, fucking, fucking amazing show. Uh, one, <laughs> once again, the level of production that goes into these drag shows, the intermissions, 
fucking it it just the energy flowed so well together that they're, they're not new. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know? they're, they're 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 not new at it at all by 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 any means. I mean, I mean, we, Jake makes a living. We, we learned that Jake, yeah, he has a he has a he has a degree in this so, <laughs> marketing in like yeah. marketing, uh, but like uh, makeup is marketing, I guess. But but it, it's because I was I was I was in a different headspace last night. Yeah, I uh, noticed. Uh, <laughs> you were fun to talk to. <laughs> Easy to make laugh. I enjoyed that. Yeah, uh, but um. But like one of the, one of the reasons why I was kind of like uh, why I kind of got like a little bit like weird feeling and I needed you to slap me mm, uh, three times three times yeah uh, and on the third time you still slap like a bitch yeah, I uh, agree <laughs> I don't have it in me <laughs> to hurt my friends I know dude <laughs> once it reaches a certain point you're you're just like I can't do it I'm such a nice person I know. bro. I- such a sweetheart and you saying you slap like a bitch is not enough to cross the threshold of true anger so, so if i'm so if i'm gonna get a slap out of you you're, you're gonna slap me and we're just gonna immediately just... that's what i'm worried about uh, i don't want to get hit back you have large hands i don't care what dave says you're the biggest threat in the durango comedy scene i feel like i can beat up pretty much everybody you're a threat. Yep. Jason's a threat. That's it. I don't know. Jason's an old man now. He, I know. He I, he won't go down easy, but still a threat. <laughs> but still raised def- in Cortez. Definitely a threat. Yeah, he might yeah. pick up a brick. We yeah. have similar <laughs> backgrounds, uh, which scares me. I will hold down Eric Kilgore <laughs> while I beat up most of the other comics in the scene. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> but, but you and Jason, <laughs> you worry me. Oh man. Uh, so, so there were, uh, so break, break, uh, uh, broke a little bit of sobriety. Uh, rut row. I know. Uh, decided to go, uh, decided to just live it up a little bit. You know, live a la vida loca. Last night? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, this was, uh, this was, uh, recently. It, it was, it was, it was. A while back. Gotcha. Perfect uh, answer. <laughs> Could be years. Yeah, it was it was a while back. But um <laughs> truly is such a bad drink to break sobriety. <laughs> you live right next to a liquor store. A great one. I know, but I was I was I was I was picnicking. Mm. Uh you know, it was it was it was a nice day. My daughter was smiling. She was playing. She was like playing with some other kids in the river. It was like super dope. Like, I'm yeah. Just... If you invite me to the lake or the river and we're not drinking, guess who's not going to the fucking lake? Yeah, uh, <laughs> just not interested. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 a little bit of where I was at. Cause I was just like, well, I don't have any weed. Yeah, kids are dumb. I didn't take any mushrooms. Actually, no. The the kids that the kids that were there, some of. The... <laughs> One of these kids was so fucking funny, dude. Just every sentence that came out of this kid's mouth was goddamn gold. Like in a Theo Vaughn way? <laughs> like as in they're so stupid they're funny? <laughs> I do not think they want to. I think he's unique and figured out how to make people laugh with... What, uh, what with, with, with 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 just like cadences and like yeah and well like and he just, just says the most random, random shit the way his brain works i, I haven't seen i came from the so rabies long. belt man yeah like a lot of rabies running around every once in a while you see a fella out there just fucking <laughs> got rabies <laughs> they, you know <laughs> just a guy who's got rabies but. Uh, a bridge is just a dangerous <laughs> road man <laughs> <laughs> or a brave road, you know, what I, just the most road. random shit you've ever heard, but it's beautiful. I I I think that's one of those things where like there's something about him that that I I like that he shows in a positive manner that I don't like about myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lonely. And it, and Sad. like and like don't yeah and i don't like show those all the time so for some reason i have that like mental aversion to theo vaughn where like i'll listen to a stand-up and understand that like no these premises are good these jokes are good but god damn it there's something about you because <laughs> it's you yeah dude 
Because <laughs> he's handling it better than you? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Interesting. No, they're, they're, they're maybe. I don't know. You uh, get over that shit, man. Yeah, That's like up. watching Andy last night, and we were both like, we kept looking at each other like, are you fucking watching this right now? Oh, yeah, dude. You know, that... You can get there. Just because Andy was doing better than you did last night doesn't mean... I mean, there, there there is something to also be said about honest jealousy. Because that's that's what that is. Where, where like, jealousy is the highest form of flattery. Where it's just, like... With I, with danger. With, with danger. Jealous uh, people do wild I, shit. I mean, skinwalkers, jealous people. Uh, hey, <laughs> we're done with that fucking word. <laughs> <All right? laughs> I gave it to you a few weeks ago. Whoever the guest was was we, curious. We, we had a whole thing that we yeah. talked about. We're past this, bro. We're past this. <laughs> Your boy's on the res way too much to be talking wild. But but no, I, I think I think one of the biggest differences is when you recognize it instead of instead of like if somebody were just hating somebody. Yeah, if someone were like, man, it sounds like you're just jealous and they're just like, No, fuck that dude. <laughs> I mean, I get jealous. I, I get jealous of people's opportunities from time to time. Yeah, being a uh, a certain type of comic, a straight white man that doesn't really back off. There's opportunities yeah. that I will just never get. Yeah, you know, like watching Elliot host the fucking Pride show at the Durango Arts Center before I'd ever done it. Yeah. like I was so proud of him. I went. I paid money to go support him. But there was a jealous thing oh, in me where jealousy. I was just yeah. like, I. I'll never get this opportunity. Like, and maybe I will. Maybe me and the drag queens get no. fucking tighter because I felt like last night we were pretty goddamn tight. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, <laughs> you guys were pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> close, bro. <laughs> my body temperature changed. <laughs> I felt that fake ass of a dude. It was more in my face. Honest jealousy, you know. I definitely checked out their asses, though. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I mean that's. I, mean, uh, I think that's part of part of the entire thing. I mean, it's a uh, it's it's like 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 we explained when they like we talked about when they were on. It's an animalistic kind of like very 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 sexual like undertone kind of show. Like, well, and you also realize that is what they want. I yep. mean, they put a lot of work. That yeah. ass might have taken 45 yeah. minutes to an hour, Straight you know, up. and I was happy I got to appreciate it. Yeah. Here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah. I smell <laughs> corn, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just kidding. Ari is way too clean for that shit. Who smells corn? <laughs> you, you fucking bloodhound. <laughs> No, last night was cool, man. Emma did good. Oh yeah, Emma, Emma, Emma did great. For How her. did the headliner do? Oh, what uh, else? N- <laughs> started rough. Uh, uh, honestly, I, I, I was kind of completely checked out. Like, gotcha. I, I, I could tell that that Bailey was doing doing really well because of the crowd's reactions, but I was just like all in my fucking own head. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Bailey made choices I wouldn't have made on stage, which is, you know, do you? You're the fucking headliner. Am no. I jealous? A little. A yeah. little. Yeah. yeah. You don't think I want green ass in my face <laughs> on stage yeah. for thirty goddamn minutes? You don't think I want that? Yeah. Dude. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, started with uh, a lot of uh, appreciation talk rather mm. than jokes, which uh, changes the whole mood. Like. It really does. This is true. Yeah. It really does shift the mm-hmm. energy in the room. And I left in the middle of Bailey's set, mm-hmm. not because I wasn't having a good time, not out of any disrespect, just because it was fucking late. Like, adding drag queens it, to a comedy it show. It start to get fucking... It was a lot of energy. gets late. I, I, was, I was vibing with, like, the drag performances and the music and, like... The comedy in between, the open mic before, like, my energy was just fucking spent by the end of it. And honestly, Andy Matthews kind of fucked up the energy in the room. It's like, <laughs> top that. It's good. This is true. It, it, it really did make it hard to follow. That's one of the reasons why I like st- signing up after Andy. Totally. Me too. Be- yeah. Because he is hard to follow. Well, and often says things that are great openers for mm-hmm. 
This is <laughs> like he says some wild shit. And yeah. I'm just like, well, we found our opener because every time I show up, I'm like, all right, I got jokes. But what's the first thing you say? to a crowd mm -hmm. like addressing the how crowd how do i make them like me immediately yeah how do you just engage immediately <laughs> yeah. that that's a bigger part of it how do you engage in a relatable way you don't know anything about these people if you can at least get them on your side then you can start telling them about you but if the first words out of your mouth are who's got a hemorrhoid you know what i mean it's tough yeah. it's yeah. tough like that fucking dumb bitch whore that wanted to heckle me last night <laughs> She did it multiple times. I wasn't yeah, even getting hard. And no. oh, not a shit joke. Like, bitch, you want to talk about poop? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, that. That really worried me before I before I got on stage. <laughs> no, that bitch was just letting him fly. I'm just yeah, like, dude. who the fuck do you think you want to be part of the show? That bitch was wily. She was real wily. And she gave me a fist bump after the show, yeah, so I didn't go of, too of hard. Of course she did. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people aren't stoked. No, you're one of my favorite people to see to see interact with hecklers. Dude, I love it. Yeah, dude. Like, unless I'm having a real, like, my brain is Like an actual shit day. Yeah. yeah. Then, as long as that's not happening, bring it on. Don't oh. heckle my friends. Don't heckle the weaker comics that can't fucking handle it. You want to talk to somebody, here's your boy. Like, fucking come at me, son. And sometimes I fail. Yeah. But sometimes it's like kerosene and a match. Most of the time it's golden. It, <laughs> most of the time it's pretty most okay. Most of the time it's fucking golden. But I've also been working on or it for the, years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true. In the yeah. same venues where uh, if, if I'm on stage at Starlight. It is kind of a certain kind of clientele where you kind of already see the you plot know a little map about of who they are yeah. well and this is my home <laughs> like go ask the bartender for a drink for me and i bet he gives you the right thing <laughs> you know what i mean this is my fucking house when yeah, i'm dude. on stage and if you want to be like you know then i'm uh, definitely gonna make you feel like a stupid piece of shit so you don't do it to my friends that's that's usually how i feel on stage uh last last night i, I had no fucking hope in my material yeah. I, I had i had no trust no belief. or belief yeah i didn't finish one joke yeah dude i started three <laughs> no you finished one joke oh the first one yeah the first one oh, when, yeah. when you were just like you know what i'm finishing this fucking joke <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> oh man um i did finish one thank you for that i feel more accomplished but I did well. I'm cool. <laughs> no, you did. You did. You did fucking great. That was awesome. Uh, so I got bombed twice last week. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> it it has been nice to have multiple opportunities to like to get those bombs out. But I, you know what I mean? To get them out. But yeah. I also think that's half the reason they're happening because I'm so goddamn fatigued from my <laughs> schedule. Mics well, and not your schedule and like, dude, it's just just like, life, just life in general. I got what three nights i guess i got three two nights monday tuesday thursday sunday so i got wednesday friday saturday i guess to not go do comedy to do laundry and dishes and cook and hang out with my girlfriend who you know has time requirements for sure yeah like i can't just yeah, you, you you literally couldn't just fuck off. That would that would be the end of your relationship. Oh. Yeah. Why do you think she started playing frisbee golf? Yeah. I was like, I love this. Will you love this too? Please, please. <laughs> please. Even if, even if you don't, can you pretend to? That's a good reason to get outside. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> and now she's doing way better. She's but. thrown as far as like my weak male friends. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. She's dude. like passing them sometimes. It's impressive. <laughs> Fun to make fun of them for that. Oh. Uh, I was, I was at the, I was at the bar for karaoke. The same while back as before. So, Rila, is this a continuation? Yes. Uh, <laughs> how many tree leaves at the river, real quick? Uh, one and a half. One and a half. Dude, it's a What'd fucking, you do with the other it's half? It's a fucking true. I poured it out because it was a goddamn truly. And, <laughs> and I was just like, well, I'm kind of just chilling anyways. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to get like. I'm not trying to fucking rage, dog. Two like, trulies, that's raging for you. I'm well, not trying to rage. I'm gonna dump this half out. No, uh, that, that was me just being responsible. L literally being a responsible drinker and being just like, eh, I'm gonna 
have one. What if it was <laughs> something you like more? Because uh, it was garbage, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Later that night, uh, Matt Karaoke, um, um, <clears throat> I'm like four of my... Eighth half? Gen- yeah. Four of my uh, gen- before usuals in. Uh, and I, I'm at the karaoke machine. I'm putting in a song. And somebody, somebody I know comes up. And she, <laughs> she's well, hot. She, 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 she's very attractive. You uh, slept with her? No. Gotcha. But that's that's kind that's of that's the goal. The, <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> but uh, but but she walked up to me at the karaoke machine, and she was like, "Hey, uh, me and me and my friend that you also know, I'm not, I'm just not gonna drop their names." Like Type <laughs> because <laughs> they're not comedians or performers uh <laughs> they were like we we want to sing this song you should put it in for us and i was like fuck that you can put it in yourself and she just kind of stared at me and she was like i don't like how you won't d- uh, how you won't just bend to my will i don't like how you said no yeah i don't like how you said no and like, well you ain't giving up the corn yet bitch like- <laughs> you ain't giving up the corn yet bro that's a t-shirt yeah <laughs> you ain't giving up the corn yet oh dude that <laughs> it's a punchline at least that's great you're welcome Th- thank you so much yeah i get 20 oh, percent that, money you that, make is, that is like yeah. three callbacks in one set like bitch you ain't giving me the corn yet it's <laughs> I wish, dude. There's so many jokes that I could end with. Bitch, you ain't giving me the corn yet. I wish I didn't know about this, <laughs> because when I see it on stage, I'll be like, boom. But if I didn't know about it, I would be like, Jesus Christ, that's yep. the best callback of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you ain't giving up the corn yet, <laughs> bro. If you get a heckler after you tell the no. corn, there's a lot of possibilities. Yeah, for sure. For sure, that's a that's some Thursday shit. Though. Yeah, uh, but but after, after she was like, I don't like her. You won't bend to my will. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, you're gonna have to be a lot rougher if you're gonna get that to happen. And then I just walked away. <laughs> Interesting. And, you poked the bear. And and I, dude, I. <laughs> there aren't very many moments where I have that kind of gall, where I have that like kind of confidence in yeah. myself. Like where a I'm drag queen. Where I'm like, where I'm like, bitch, you better give it up, Dan. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> but the truly helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the truly's and Did the, you drink anything at the bar? Uh yeah, uh a uh, couple singles. Um and You're a liquor guy, huh? Yeah. I I like to sip. Oh, I like to take my time. I take as many sips from a shot as I do from a beer, therefore I have ten shots, and then I'm fucking hammered. <laughs> Sipping doesn't work for me, bro. I drink beer. That's because what are you drinking out? Of? If it's a glass with rocks, whatever. But I still drink as much. Oh, because you're just like whatever. I drink is, when I'm thirsty. This is the tempo that I drink stuff at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not even a decision. It's yeah. in, Inside my redneck blood. <laughs> it's in my redneck blood. <laughs> yeah, that's how your ancestors used to drink moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> and they live till they're fucking a hundred, bro. It's <laughs> because their insides are made out of paint thinner. <laughs> Still live, but uh, 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 I uh, I've also I have been noticing that this has been happening more often. It, what bitches? It hasn't happened a lot in my life, but it's been happening more often than it has at any more it's like two any, times or something. Any other time? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much like two times every week now. Ooh, and, uh, that's. <laughs> Where where I'm just like, hold on a second. I just did something. Dude, I, I would fuck me if, <laughs> if I said that to me. <laughs> Is that part of the goal, the motivation? <clears throat> uh, no. For a girl to just turn around and be like, nobody ever talks to me that way. And just fucking give you that cord, bro? A, a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah because I, I have a little bit of that, like, of, of that control thing where it's just like, I if... If I'm going to bend to your will, you have to make me. And that's not going to be easy. <laughs> and like and like it is a little bit of a kink thing where it's just like, no, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to try better than that. My girlfriend's got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh but um 
but yeah, I I I did that, and I was just I, I felt good about myself, and I was like, huh, all right, whatever, Celebrate. whatever. That that probably wasn't wasn't anything. And then I and then we're we're sitting outside, and I make like a glancing like pass like look at her as I'm like scanning like the table and shit, right. and and she's just like, don't look at me like <laughs> like that, and like just immediately turned red, and I was just like, I don't know what I did, but I know I did something right, so. <laughs> Dance puppet. <laughs> Is that how they do it? I don't oh, know. Oh man, uh, uh, it it feel it feels it feels kind of scummy, but also at the same time, I'm just like, I'm a nice person. Like, I I I, I give more to other people than I do provide for myself. Like, <laughs> agreed. And like, take care of my own shit. So like. I don't know. There, there is like that animalistic side of me where it's just like if I do find somebody attractive, it's probably because I might want to like pursue something possibly. Uh, but there always has to, not always has to be that option. No, there doesn't have to always be that. Option. I don't know, man. I'm figuring shit out. I had like a weird time last night. Like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> last night was weird. I'll give you uh, that. Uh, but. But anyways, this, this has been happening more often where where I feel like I, I'm sometimes God damn it. It feels so like I like narcissistic and like and like delusional to to be like, no, sometimes I feel like I can just look at people and and just be like, no, if if I wanted to, I could be like, let's go. <laughs> there's there's a percentage of people. That you can do that to. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Whether it's high, low, yeah. middle, there is that percentage. So as long as you have that belief for, within for, yourself. Or like everybody as well. Like <laughs> But you will succeed. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. You know? And like and and, and like one one Damn, one, you're just gonna walk up to that bitch and be like, get off. I, I, I eventually. I was picturing like a Maybe. Vespa. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an electric Would you like a tour? It's an electric bike, dude. <laughs> pretty fly though <laughs> that makes cool. but but the main goal is is literally just to mind of, control no put myself out there and and just be be open to like receiving love but that that's really, bro you're acting like a hot chick right now i i know dude and it's weird <laughs> <laughs> and then you just said I want to be open and out there. I know. It's like the opposite of what hot bitches do. I know. It's weird. It's wild, man. And it works for hot bitches I've been because there's such a, a wild time. I, I'm so glad that we that we have the solo podcast because <laughs> I've been like going through all kinds of fucking thoughts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but but like but like I don't know. The more I've been telling myself that I'm more open to giving and receiving love like the more these incidents are happening in my life where like more people are popping up and i'm being like no i my i i find like a genuine attraction to this person and like it'd be cool to see where that goes and it just keeps like happening with all of these different people that that i'm meeting where it's like it's not like it's not like crazy, just like ah, oh, we're she's coming over, fucking got it all the time, and we're fucking all the time. No, it's it's just like seeing that there are all these different like people, in my, knowing that I have options is, options is so fucking weird, dude. Because I at no other point in my life have I ever like been like, no, I got options. Like <laughs> same, no. <laughs> you know how many cars I've owned because I'm like. It's all I can really afford right now. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll drive this piece of shit with a loud muffler. Speaking of uh, being able to afford, even if I, I did progress far enough with any of these people, I'm still a broke comic. Like that's okay. <laughs> and it's worked wild. for me. It did work for you, and you give me hope. You and <laughs> if anybody should, you and Kelly give me a straight up, dude. Bro, so much help. I found it. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. I thought I found it once, and then three years in, I was like, "Oh no, that that ain't it." Well, I I think, <laughs> I I think that's, I I think you can fall in love multiple times and have those moments multiple times in your life, 
<clears throat> but that first one, I was in a real bad place when we met. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you were just kind of taking advantage of. <laughs> Potentially. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I'm just saying it took a few years because I like, you know, the love grew, and then I was like accepted that this is probably going to be what my life is you know what i mean and then the love died and then it was real rough for a minute there a year and a half yeah tough oh yeah um but this one is different like it's not like well she loves me you know it's like now this is this is my chick bro (laughs) no she loved me (laughs) Yeah, it's like that confidence. Yeah, I got your swagger. Yeah. yeah, it's like nah, let's go. <laughs> oh man, that's that's that's. <sighs> you won't cry. Yeah, you're young, bro. <laughs> it's so cute. You're young. It uh, takes time. Yeah, I know. But I was also in a better place when I met her. You know what yeah. I mean? I was in a place where you seem to be finding yourself. A- a- where exactly. I had where 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 I'm feeling like things are actually going okay, and I'm in an okay place. Like, since, since uh. Since doing karaoke and all that shit right. happened, like I haven't had any cravings. That's good. Like nothing where I'm just like, no, I'm good. Bro, probation right. should include some green light weekends. I know it's problematic and weird yeah. shit's gonna happen yeah. if you just let anybody do that. But it also keeps people sane mm-hmm. to not only get the chance to let loose a little, but yeah, also that, feel exactly the repercussions. What it felt like. Yeah. But also feel the repercussions of like you haven't drank in six months. Here you go, or longer. You know, yeah. where it's like, how's this feel in the morning? You know, mm-hmm. so you you get the whole spectrum. Yeah. But I I do think it would be a healthier way to approach sobriety. Yeah, in a it, legal sense. It, it, because one of the questions that I've had uh, for this entire thing is just like, am I going to come out of this and like, yeah, you, just fall down? Yeah, and yeah. and just go back to fucking drinking the same way. So with with this experience, I'm, I'm I kind of feel like confident that I'm just like no, I can just have a night every once in a while. You could be a weekend drinker. You yeah. could be a once twice a month or yeah. you know, a, I'd just be a karaoke drinker. Where, where that <laughs> shit happens all the time in Durango, though. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Just like <laughs> oh, karaoke every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Ex- Sunday. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Should stick to like weekends or holidays or. Uh, Black I, History Month or something. <laughs> Black History. It's not that long. <laughs> no, it would it would definitely be tab karaoke. Uh, just I don't I don't know, man. I don't like to be in that place unless I'm a little drunk. If I get a little buzz on, I'm like I can dig this. Oh. But, but until then, I'm like, fuck this place. Honestly, fuck s- everybody around me except Jordan. Same. Well, like I've gotten to know more people there, so it's a so it's a little bit more different. Where it's just like I know all the all the bartenders that work there. I know a couple of the regulars. So like I usually have somebody to hang out with when I'm there. Right. If I saw somebody but, I knew, I would be stoked. But like ninety percent of the time, I'm just like I don't know fucking anybody here, and I don't want to fucking be here. <laughs> Every time we did comedy there, I was just like These trash people. Bro. Well, <laughs> that's mean. It was just us. <laughs> There was another 10. <laughs> They're trash people. Some bitch on meth yelling at you fucking five feet away. How many of those did we have? Two? I think four. I could oh. be wrong. Did we also have those on Thursdays? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I don't remember. Oh. Times it- That was right before COVID. Time's flying. Oh, festival's coming up. Dave's going to be here. I just heard Jenkins is in the mix. Ooh. Did he did he get his get his thing in? Uh, I think Bianca's doing it because apparently he has no technology since he went missing. Ah, for yes. fucking weeks like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> How I dare you make me love you and dickhead. then go missing <laughs> and then disappear? You fucking dude. piece of new, shit. New no f- phone having. I know new friend that you're just like God. I can't wait to see him again and like develop what we have. And then it's just like, oh, he might. He's already dead. Oh, he's missing so, from like, the desert. Yeah, dude. He's he's god. The fuck, bro. Terrifying. Asshole. Terrifying. Asshole Jenkins. Bad Jenkins. Oh. I man. hope at least Tony hears that. <laughs> Another thing he can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he listens to a lot of stuff. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I need more blind friends. Oh, man. We got James now. Uh, straight up. That's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> James is a fucking... He's a wild guy. He card. is a wild, wild man. He says wild shit, bro. Yeah, Just dude. a little skinny white dude. 
<laughs> blind so nobody beats him up. Blind as shit. Yeah, dude. Tony, uh, Tony's stocky. I can imagine pick, people still picking a fight with Tony. <laughs> That's stupid. I mean, he has a whole joke about it. <laughs> I wouldn't fight Tony. Where he's like, where he's like a big yeah, but people like to show off that they're tough and and be like, he can't see you. How's that showing off? <laughs> Showing off for a blind man. It's yeah. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but people are dumb. Yeah. People are dumb. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Josh Emerson once got a brand for three dollars <laughs> off beers for the rest of his life. But the bar's closed. Definitely go go watch that episode. That's Definitely some, go watch that. It's um shit. Josh Donahue's gonna be here in July. What are we just name dropping everybody now? I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. You're the one that chose the road of dumb. I didn't realize how many names we say on every episode. <laughs> I know Jill was like, you should tag the people you talk about. And I listened like, to one. Jesus and I was Christ. Like, Fuck that. That's a lot. That's I'm a lot of tags. I don't even man. know these motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the off chance I said something wrong. <laughs> I prefer to just leave them out of it. No, not here at the Green Light Weekend. The Green Light Weekend is all about truth, letting yourself go. That's why you're here, baby. That's wild. <laughs> that that is that is such a like a uh, uh, that's 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 a good analogy for the Green Light Weekend. You're here or like tagline. We're here to let ourselves go. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hottest <laughs> comic in Durango, probably. Probably. So. Fuck you, dog. Probably, Fuck boy. you. You know how good that was for me? <laughs> when I heard that after years of hearing Bailey stealing my fucking swagger and then getting my compliment. <laughs> He was out here like, oh, I'm going to dress like Brian. And everybody started showing up. Hot girlfriend. But. Ba- no, ba- Bailey's moved on to a to a different style, more de- definitely more dad, <laughs> more cargo shorts and Hawaiian shirts. It's true. It's getting weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> I respect it. You do, you boo boo. I cannot wait until he can grow a mustache. Bailey's gonna look great. With yeah, it'll mustache. probably be out about the same time as me, yeah. around forty. <laughs> Out here bitching, you know how long I've been trying to grow a mustache, bro? Since I was 13 and all my Mexican friends had mustaches. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Lee Cummings. Mustache. Lee, Lee Cummings. Disgusting mustache. Got me some mustache wax. So, thank you. That's <laughs> shout out to Lee Cummings. Let's shout out to Lee Cummings. <laughs> Lee Cummings is a bad bitch. Yeah, straight up, dude. Definitely gonna hit her up. And She's learn so fucking nice. The nicest. She does not have to be that nice. It's true. <laughs> I mean, she does if she's under this roof, but, she but is the everywhere else, the sweetheart. Too nice, almost annoyingly like my girlfriend. Like she's got too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, my grandma? <laughs> Saw you yesterday, bitch. Stop asking so many questions. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Lee Cummings. I'm just warming up. I'm hosting tonight, all right? You know how much pressure that is? Tuesday at 9. Every goddamn Tuesday. Every Tuesday. 11th Street Station. Every Tuesday. Be there or be Lee Cummings. (laughs) Yeah, because he's out of town. Or Bailey. Whatever. If you missed her, definitely get tickets to the Four Corners Comedy Festival. Hopefully, Lee Cummings will be on there. If not, Lee Cummings will definitely... Be coming back to Durango. Yo, I hear there's going to be like 45 comics in Durango. It's going to be fucking... I love Durango do, full of comics. Do you know when the festival happens? Uh-huh. September 29th through October 2nd? Is that what you're, is that what you're asking me? Yeah. I got off of probation on the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's drinking? <laughs> Dirty we, shows getting we weird. Get fucking wild, son. I'm it's gonna, gonna be insane. I'm gonna start stocking up on drugs <clears throat> now. Ooh, ooh. Because I'm gonna do them throughout. So. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need a lot. Absolutely. That's what no, I'm saying. You're gonna need all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need Clint Eastwood to mule me something. <laughs> that old asshole of his. No, but I, 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 I checked the date just to remind myself uh earlier and i'm I'm not planning Bro, on dave's gonna be here i know i'm not i'm not planning on making any more uh 
and, and taking any more green light weekends until yeah no don't fuck that up <laughs> until we're until we're at the end yeah you can ride with me all weekend yeah you just fucking get it brother oh i i live right downtown everything is within walking distance yeah but we're gonna be doing podcasts and shit oh yeah this is true yeah yeah that'll be fine all of them. i'll also be working for you so. and i'm taking the weekend off so it's gonna so i'll actually have money to just uber i to. fucking hope so <laughs> <laughs> hate Dude, your ass I can <laughs> I cannot wait to start <laughs> to start working an actual fucking job. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, uh, especially with the physical labor, dude. I'm 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 excited to get get into some shape. To fucking it gets old. No, uh, I'm I'm sure. But I'm every day, every, just every, every do every, it again. Every job gets old. It's true. It doesn't matter what job you're fucking in. It gets old. Plus, it's gone. So sign up every open mic Monday, Comedy Tuesday, Thursday, does Sunday. Get old, but it's like a it's it's like a crazy ex girlfriend that fucks too good. Oh yeah, yeah. Comedy got that sand trap pussy, bro. If if comedy texts me, bro, I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just you up, like <laughs> just, bitch. Sorry. You know I'm up. Hey, uh, sorry, baby. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I, I believe I believe uh sand trap pussy is a term coined by Taylor Lennox. Sand trap? Sand trap pussy. What's it? A... Quicksand? Quicksand pussy? I like that. I don't know. Sand trap pussy. It's like a golf ball where you're just like stuck. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Where like you keep trying to get out of it but you keep getting stuck in stuck in that pussy. <laughs> Never seen me play ball. <laughs> you never seen me play ball. <laughs> golf dude i want to go play some fucking golf i want i want i want to do i want to do some comedy baseball <laughs> i agree yeah Ooh, i wonder if we could get a comedy baseball game together if it wasn't gonna be fucking july when we're in tucson i would say let's play golf cut that but it's gonna be july oh fuck you idiot forgot you dumb bitch cut that shit <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> but yeah, if it if it wasn't gonna be so hot, um when we're in another state. Well while, while we're while we're in summer, uh then then I would totally say let let's go play some baseball. You know that bitch is gonna listen to. Well now you have to cut all of that out, oh man. God. I was trying to make a clean transition. Well, you were talking it was garbage time, you know it. That bitch. <laughs> Throwing junk out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like baseball. <laughs> I don't even like baseball. <laughs> well, something me and Kelly have been talking about a lot is we're gonna try to hit a pro sports game when we go places. Fuck it. Like dude. hockey. Baseball football whatever no, is they're just going on game. you know yeah. but hockey bro hockey is dude so the hockey fun stadium you know you know what else is fucking so much fun arena football arena football <laughs> is I so bet. fucking wild like the xfl yeah dude that shit is fucking the rock awesome. might be there <laughs> it's like a part outer so dope. <laughs> i'd meet dope. the rock I like, would blow no. the rock. I, I honestly hate him as a person, but Why? but I'd meet him just because he's a superstar. You hate him? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think he's a good person. I uh, love the rock. Uh, I've I've <laughs> you've looked into it. I've 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 heard stuff from. Well, you like, think Tom Segura is a su- I, no? I had an itch. <laughs> <laughs> Felt good. <laughs> I thought you were trying to tell me something. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> this is just self care. No, uh, I've just listened to podcasts where like people talk about like people uh, have chauffeured him around and been like, "No, he's a he's a real asshole. He got me fired because I said hello to him." <laughs> really? Yeah, that it, sounds like clickbait, bro. Uh, I don't think the rocks that guy. I mean, it wasn't a popular podcast, and they're not good at marketing. So. Yeah, <laughs> everything we've said is lies, so yeah. people will watch more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that list of names i didn't mean any of that shit Dude, i don't even know how these people <laughs> it don't matter oh man but the festival's gonna be fun dude. <laughs> 45 comics in durango i know last year was i know wild oh yeah uh and we broke the starlight <laughs> lounge basically that was fucking chaos Oh, we're gonna we're gonna straight up destroy old timers. I really hope we get shut down. Yeah, dude, that would be fucking 
legendary. That would be fucking legendary. I would prefer it not be at all times because they're a sponsor of this show, and I don't want them to have a hard time. All timers, sponsor the show. Give me your money. Uh, <laughs> but, yo, <laughs> you get Schmitty on stage at All Timers at fucking eleven thirty at night. Oh yo. Oh, it's gonna be inside. Fucking, we're gonna have to move all those tapes. It's gonna be standing room only. Shit's gonna be fucking wild. Last night was standing room only. Wild. That oh yeah. The, one of the best nights we've had. Oh yeah. I mean, and we've had good nights. I this, mean, even was- this year we've had really banging nights yeah that that pride night was probably it was close to the equivalent of the dirty show <laughs> mm. it didn't have the same energy yeah. but there, there were a lot of people it was there. close it yeah. was close <laughs> i don't know dude that that dirty show there was like 30 people around that table on the left of the stage <laughs> like yeah dude just fucking packed in there it was crazy yeah right when we walked in i was like babe seat now like pushed her into a chair and, like yeah, I got we weren't lu- moving. I got lucky. I was on I was on sh- shrooms when that happened, and like m- me and Emma walked in, and literally two seats at the back just opened up as we walked. Yeah, in. Yeah, I think that's like, what happened to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, my friends are right here. This is awesome. <laughs> and then I was all worried because I saw a couple people not doing great. Elliot, um, not great. All right, tag Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> He, he just didn't have him, bro. And I think he followed Steph. So he, yeah, the, he did not bring the there, same level of energy. There were a couple of them. The even, Steph did. Even, uh, even, uh, I mean, there, there were a few comics that had to follow some fucking murderers. Yeah, I don't know who I followed, but murderers. it might have been like Jonas or something. Yeah. It was weird. I had a good set, though. And I was no. just like surprised because I was shit faced. That was my night off, so I went to the show at the Durango Arts Center. Yeah, that's the night Keith Winchester got all fucked up and puked in the. Oh yeah, uh, that was that night. Yeah. and then so I all hammered, and then all the comics are leaving, so you just end up in the middle of it. You know what I mean? And you're like, yeah. oh, dirty show, dirty show. Yeah. Then Dave's over here, and he's like, you're in the dirty show. Fuck yeah, boy! But then I was hammered. Yep. And then I saw a couple people start to bomb, and I was like. This is scary. It wasn't like last night where I was like, oh, everybody's crushing. Like, um, just I'm... don't ruin it. That was my thought last night. <laughs> like, don't ruin the vibe that's happening here right now. Yeah, my my only goal is to is to do my set. Party. <laughs> not not do anything beforehand. Just do my job, do what I'm there to do, and then go fucking wild because that's that's one of the things that like really held me back from comedy in general was just getting too fucked up before i but got now your stage. set's your priority yeah but now like my actual work and like what i'm trying to put into it is a lot more important <laughs> yeah so um, the dude it's, it's gonna be mm. Um, I'm 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 ready to get out of here, dude. What day? Is it? <laughs> what day Tuesday? is it? It's Tuesday. Damn, this is gonna come out. If you didn't <clears throat> sign up for the Four Corners Comedy Festival, y'all fucked up. Yeah, you fucking idiot. the dough to get the dough speaking to the masses hit the road to do a show microphone madness trip easy z cheap sunglasses straight fashion my third eye active watching backpacks through the show beeping that shit vocally hearing me locally lyrically know what i'm supposed to be and i don't got no fear of it i'm coming for your brain homie coming at you spiritually stepped into the game and i knew that flow was slippery but check my flow though turn the whack news to history let them do their thing instead I put them out they misery and simply put just got disconnected like my boy big money man this can't be neglected grab the mic and check it coming up in your direction gift that I've been blessed with this hustle is respected and reckless poetic mind on the set list got the groove to back everybody step with still have not fulfilled the whole vision yeah life right now still so picturesque I'm rocking every stage until I get a bigger check even though our hit money ready for a bigger step for the truth next somebody Coming at your neck, I could have died today. That's why I'm smoking cigarettes and got precision set of skills. And imagination, creation, and no baiting with motivation. I'm chasing my goals, the giants that I be racing. I'ma stride through the finish like a 6'5 Jamaican. Beating my chest like, yeah, what 
but my name is Ink on my chest. What? My homie spray paint in summer day smoke escape. PlayStation, he looking down on me and I can't stay patient. And I ain't just trying to say shit. Sit back and face this real tight vibe and smoke instrumental playlist. Chill in the cut. Now these small places I ain't getting love now, man. Fuck being famous till they tell me. Really hard to make it. They don't understand I love being underestimated. Second guess it, and I'll take it that you're undereducated. Anyway, this got me thinking about them old records playing. Why it's filled with soul when it fills my mind. Tell for the shaking while the rhythm takes flight. What I'm doing wrong, I ain't gonna fake right. I don't get no sleep because the music takes night. Nocturnal life with my basement lights. Just roll some nice, keep my drink on ice. If you don't get it once and you don't hear it twice, moving on this beat right here is out of sight. I'ma stay away. 